is we're going to start off our long form by eulogizing Robbie's character. We'll give hints to us his character and his death. Um, and then we'll do all of the events leading up to his death as the long form. So all we need, actually, um, is a name for Robbie. can be any gender. Santana, are we ready for Cheryl and Santana of Coco? 
look up Storm? I think we are here. I think the audience is ready as well. Oh, 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 honey. You look, you look as pale as death. <laughs> where is, where is Fabio? Murder! Oh, Murder! Oh, Murder! 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 Peppers are 
the thing of cooking this year. Rachel Ray has mentioned peppers like five times. <laughs> Santana, honey, is that is that Cheryl pressuring you into using peppers on your show? It's like she doesn't even remember that I'll literally die if I touch peppers. Well, to be fair, you provided me and me alone with your allergy in the car. <laughs> Because I love you and support you and will defend you loyally in all of your AJ missions. <laughs> so, so, so you tell me the way your husband loves you is keeps your allergen car? That's, that's your talking to me about love today? Yeah! That's how, it's like a promise ring, but in a little plastic card from my health insurance agency. <laughs> so did you guys never, never do rings in the ceremony? Well, we did rings as well. It wasn't a replacement. It, was just, uh, it means more to me, you know, because in that way, he literally has his life, made my life, in his hands. Oh, that's so beautiful. I, you guys must be rich if you're able to buy rings and that. Well, I make a, a decent living from, you know, the cooking show. Julia, and that's why you must shop at the most high-end store in town. That's why I do. I heard... I heard that you were one of the, the people who suggested that idea of putting, putting toys in here just because you spent so much money here, they, they took your suggestion. It's a really smart one. Yeah, I mean, what's a grocery store without inedible toys, right? <laughs> Any other one. <laughs> Sit, darling, you're not ready. Oh, God, you have not spent much place in today. Oh, dear, so how is the life? How's the boyfriend? Oh, the husband, oh, boyfriends, we don't talk about that very much. Clearly, I usually get that out with the, you know, the clerk at the grocery store. <laughs> he's doing all right. He's, a, he's getting to be a little clingy, oh. both emotionally and physically. <laughs> what have you talked to him about this? Have you taken your insurance card back? I think that's a big thing. Well, that's the thing. Like, if I take the insurance card back, that's just going to set him on edge, and then he's going to be aggressive if I bring up the problems. But then if I bring up the problems, and he becomes aggressive anyways, he's going to take the insurance card, and Honey, I'm going to be able to bind. You need to address things when I come to you. You cannot stop. You cannot keep it in. If you keep it in, you'll have bad karma. Bad karma, honey. You need to let it out. Open your mouth and let it out. What are you going to say to him? Don't touch me! Oh, no way. <laughs> That was, that was, that was pent up emotion, I'm sorry. I was, I mean, I could lay him down a little gently, just like, hey, you know, maybe a little bit of personal space every now and then. Say, Pam, you're loving hard or hard. <laughs>
touch the peppers directly, and you do most of the pepper work? I mean, I guess. Uh, that, that could work. So yeah, let's plan that way, and I'll only, I'll only ask you to do things when it comes to emergency. Well, Miss <laughs> Pepper something. Uh, <laughs> I've never seen you in the pepper aisle. Gee, that's a funny pun. Uh, I never see you in here. Can I help you? You must be unfamiliar. Come on, can I help yeah, you? Yeah, okay, dear. I know what I want, but would it be possible for you to grab a couple of those bell peppers over there and put them in my cart? Wow, that's pretty embarrassing. You can't even grab your own peppers if I say so. <laughs> here you go, too. <coughs> Santana? Hi. Oh, hello, Julie. Hi. Um, I'm, okay, conflict is hard for me. Oh, no. <laughs> Letting the past 18 years really be negative in our lives? You both look great for your age. <laughs> <laughs> you have to moisturize daily. <laughs> so thank you. For You're welcome. Um, but I just thought maybe we could have a cup of tea sometime and try to grow as people. I think that might be conducive to a more healthy relationship. I like Santana, you swore that you would never bond with that Jolene, that evil blind vermin. How dare you, Santana? How dare you do this? You're going back on what you promised. I know. Bobby? Bobby? Yeah? I know. I think this is a great time to transition to something I've been wanting to talk about. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Stop. Okay, this is like a therapy session. Yeah. Maybe. Bobby, I think you've been... <laughs> you've been a great supportive husband. As, as always, maybe a little bit too excited and, you know, willing to jump right in. I have no idea what that possibly could mean. <laughs> Bobby, you've gotten a little clingy recently. What could that possibly mean? <laughs> well, I mean it in both a literal sense, seeing as this is the first time I've been home in Two weeks where you haven't been just holding me tight like a big huggable octopus. Well, yeah, usually I do, but I can see your uh, you got something coming down on your face. I, I don't really uh, know what it is, uh, but I just want to put a little distance between us. I don't know. Are you um? Do you want to reference what's been going on with uh, the allergy card? There's, yeah, I think you're trying to avoid. The topic at hand here, Bobby. <laughs> no, but I think you really need to like check yourself. <laughs> Just a little bit. I think. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's just a little bit of a skin irritation. It could have been, could have been anything. A flake <laughs> in the wind or something. Ding dong. Oh, someone's here. Could you, could you go ahead? You're closer. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> <clears throat> it's the vermin! <laughs> Not rude. Joel Not rude. rude. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> but you were rude. That was a rude comment. May I? Yeah, go ahead. Come on. Sorry, I'm just a little flustered since. Who is this man? This is, this is Bobby. This is we are lovers! For the past three years. Three! 365 day cycles. <laughs> Over a thousand. <laughs> I round to one significant figure. <laughs> Audience gets to join you on stage. And I've been practicing talking into a camera. 
or anywhere I go. Um, I just I just thought that maybe, maybe I could be featured on your show. I'm kind of a I don't cook. This is a dish where we could use an extra pair of hands besides mine. Santana, you told me she's the swine of the earth and she should be spited oh, for her sins. This is the dear. I was blinded by hate. And her <laughs> compassion has opened me up to having more trusting relationships. You told me if the rapture came, she would be the only person brought off of this godforsaken earth. <laughs> well, I'm, you know how I like to exaggerate when I get heated, Bobby. <laughs> and push you out of my mind <laughs> and pretend that you're lying for the sake of, you know, moving forward. Thank you, dear. I'm sorry, <laughs> that's just the southern drawl. I was, you know, forget being from Rhode Island. But... Yeah, you Yankee! <laughs> well, that's just, that just seems prejudice. I moved to the south because I like it here. Is that hard to believe? Yeah, I'll do it, <laughs> So you have a fight with your hobbit? Yeah, oh. he wasn't too excited about me and, well, uh, inviting Jolene to be the special guest star. Jolene, or frankly, Jolene. To the even... swine of the earth? That's <laughs> Yes, that's Jolene. Oh, okay. No longer oh, the swine of the earth. Turns out she's a pretty decent gal. Okay. Oh! Oh, my. So we got to meet Jolene. She's gonna be a guest on on the appearance on the show this week, so oh. hopefully. Well, that is just fabulous. We must make our makeup look perfect for the event. Okay. Even though it's a week away, but yeah. we're practicing now. Practicing is perfect. So what are you making? Well, Cheryl convinced me to do a dish of stuffed peppers. Uh, part of the reason I'm bringing Jolene along is, you know. I would like to not handle the peppers as much as often as possible. But then, honey, you need to obsess on peppers. If you don't want to handle the peppers, you need to obsess on peppers. I think I've already made that pretty clear. I don't want to be dramatic and go, I'll die if I touch them, because you know that just brings the whole mood oh, down. Oh, that's very dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> that's so nice that. Yeah, I, I think I'll just keep that around, make, make it a point, just, you know, Keep the peppers away from me. They don't need to know exactly why. Yeah, that, that wanna, seems reasonable. One of one Don't sit on the counter! <laughs> Unsanitary, Santana, every goddamn week. Don't sit on the counter. Damn. It makes me feel familiar with the locale. All right, well, we can't be fighting in front of our guests. Yeah, of course. Is that, is that my cue? Yes, please. Yes. Oh. Uh, Woo! Thank you. And welcome back to Cheryl and Santana. And Jolene. Okay. <laughs> Let me get out the title first, because it's Cheryl and Santana cook up store. <laughs> shh, honey, shh, they hear us coming, honey. Shh, they're doing a vegetarian dish. Oh, hi, hi. Hello. Uh, two members. Yep. Tonight we're going to be doing something very special. We're going to be making stuffed peppers. One of them's going to have ground beef. But wait. Boom! Okay, I Boom! Said, wait, wait, wait! <laughs> <laughs> Did the cow get a chance to wait? Why didn't you wait till I finished? All right. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I know you're uncomfortable. 
I'm not just uncomfortable. Uncom oh, I'm Use your words, honey. I'm here, I gotta cut this. I I Bobby! He's got Bob the camera! 